hello guys welcome back to my channel once again it's your favorite girl Josie corner here I mean if I'm not your favorite it's up to you but for me I know I'm most of you guys favorites and so today's um, video I'm going to react to my own very sister my one and only miss ghana amarachi dory's video she made um days ago about um nigeria and ghana rivalry why the fight why the hate between ghana and nigeria i hope you are interested to know i mean <laughs> josie corner coming to react to amarachi's video please is interesting um and you will love it so don't go anywhere relax and watch the next <laughs> about an article um a Ghanaian writer and I, I want to make a correction here she's a writer she's a politician and she's educationalist right she's called Elizabeth Ohine yes I know Amarachi is from Nigeria so the name she was not getting the Ohene well, you know, so she's called Elizabeth Ohene. Ohene in Ghana means like a king or like, yes, Ohene, like somebody who is top there, Ohene, Elizabeth Ohene, like a king or something like that or a queen mother anyway. So, um, she wrote an article um and the article it was about nigerians how Ghanaians sees nigerians to be so for me for my understanding of an article it's like a research being done on something and the outcome will be published or when a research is being done when a research is being done um um the positive the the more the positive side comes then they will put that one as article maybe like go, i think there is nothing wrong with it it's the same thing when you go to ghana when the the, the woman say um nigerians are this they are that um it's not every nigerian who are that like how um she wrote it and when you go to ghana it's not every Ghanaian is peaceful lovely and welcoming but because of the 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 number of people who are so welcoming I mean, it's at way the, the bad ones right so when they say Ghanaians are peaceful or they are outcoming um, or they welcome people uh, like they are so lovely a peaceful country to be honest um, not all Ghanaians are like that and Ghana uh, is not all the time peaceful as people see it to be but the more the, the outcome of the positive one, then they will put that one as the, how, this is how they, they look oh, like. Wow. So I'll be reading um, what uh, um, the woman wrote. If you haven't watched um, Amarachi Dury's video before, go and watch and understand what I'm trying to put. Yes. Let's read what the, the article says and... Um, Amarachi was reacting to it and it's like she felt um, She felt uh, I don't know like she felt so um, sad because of the article But I just want to say something here Generalization of something is everywhere Generalization of something is everywhere. It's like when um, some people say uh, women are gossipers you know i'm not a gossiper you are not a, you are not a gossiper but it has been generalized that um, um women are gossipers so I, for me i feel like generalizing something is not wrong if you know you are not part of this you shouldn't be worried about it right so let's read um what the woman wrote and you know uh, the woman is called elizabeth or 
as I said earlier on, she, she was a politician, um, a journalist, educationalist, and so on and so forth. So she said, we see them as too loud, which she's talking about the Nigerians, and ab ab abrasive and um, chaotic. We believe, we believe um, they think they can outsmart everybody, especially Ghanaians. Um, they think we are also too submissive, not smart, always punching above our weights and nothing upset them more than Ghana <laughs> defeating Nigeria in everything. In anything, yeah, she said in anything. So this is what the, the woman wrote and she continued, um, I think Amarashi did not read that one, but she continued to say, um, then Ghana got her independence in uh, March 1957 and our Nigerian cousin got theirs on October 1960. This did not felt right for many Nigerians. They were bigger and should have got their independence before small Ghana. You know, they might be bigger, but at that time, Ghana felt worse and um, richer than Nigeria before oil was discovered in Nigeria, then they became richer than Ghana and a lot of Ghanaians uh, migrate to Nigeria um, and later on that brought the Ghana must go later on they felt like there were too many Ghanaians in Nigeria then yeah, then time then these things happened and Ghana, they sat most of Ghanaians back to their country. So this is what the woman wrote. It was a long article. When you read it, you understand what the woman is trying to say. But for me, generalizing something is not bad. If you know you are not part of that 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 thing, you shouldn't be uh, worried. But I know um, when um, people say wrong thing about the country you are in, you feel sad. Um, you feel like um, it shouldn't be that way. But um, for me, I think that is the, I don't know, but for me, I think if an article is being written, it's based on the research the person did. That is why that resource came out. Because for me, I have a lot of encounter with Nigerians in Ghana, which they are so nice. They are, they are so welcoming and most Ghanaians are could not even be like that. So it's not everybody, as you said, are like that. But um, when you go to Ghana, for instance, um, in Ghanaian news, like most of the things that are not world war coming, you see that you hear that uh, these people, I mean the Nigerian, they are part of it. Every bad news that happened in Ghana, you, you find out that they are part it could be is they are not it could be they are part of this you see names popping out to be from nigeria so when the research is being done like this so and 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 uh, marashi says something that is Ghanaian um, parents that are um telling their their children that nigerians are like this and nigerians are like that i want to correct that part is that no parents in ghana will sit a children down to tell the children that they are like this they are like that because we have them in our school so no parents will tell um um his world that um nigerians are like this i will never i don't i don't even think it has even happened before but me for instance my parent did not sat me down to tell me that this country they are like this they are like that i grew to understand them I agree to hear a lot about them because Nigeria and Ghana has been in the news since nine, even since we got our independence, they have been in the news. So it's like a history being written down, not a parent telling the child that this is and all, that is how it's been done because there is a history behind Nigeria and Ghana rivalry, which is for me is fun and lovely because it's like, I don't think it's going to stop, you know, because Nigeria and Ghana, we don't share boundary, but we are the best brothers and sisters. We don't share boundary, but because we speak English and Nigeria also speak English, we are just like cousins because we share boundary with Togo, Nigeria, Burkina Faso and Mali, but 
we are not closer to them like how we are close to Nigeria. So let's read something um, somebody wrote under her comment section and let's all understand everything here. Okay, someone wrote, no matter what they, there is no two country in this world that can relate or have so much in common like Ghana and Nigeria. We don't even share boundaries as I said earlier on and our food is almost the same just cook in, in a different method but eating and enjoying the same way the only two countries that swallow and the rest of the world chill <laughs> okay maybe Togo also do swallow I can go the rivalry between Ghana and Nigeria is healthy and fun you know more like rivalry rivalry between siblings okay i hope you all get it it's like it's so fun because you have the best cousin and nothing is going to stop this thing for me i don't think it's a hate because nigeria cannot do without ghana and ghana cannot do without nigeria because there are lots of nigerians living in ghana living their best life i mean doing their thing so well they have no issue with anybody but it's left the few people who, who migrate to Ghana with no capital, um, with no aim, but they just want to um, um, have their way through. They are the few people spoiling the names of Nigerians in Ghana. So let's continue and read something also here. Yeah. Um, okay. This person also said, generalization is everywhere at any corner of the earth. I hope I said that one too. In religion, tribes, continents, and etc. But note that it doesn't just come to people through. Um, it doesn't just come to people, though. Um, through um, mouth. I don't even. It doesn't just come to people mouth, but when the majority of the people are just like that, you see. So for me, I feel like the majority of people, um, um, the majority of Ghanaians living in Nigeria, most of them don't behave well. That is why when they say something about them, it's being generalized. Because there are a lot of nice people who are not loud, as you said, who are not like what the woman wrote. Because I can even testify from the people I've met from thickness, Bless care to the rest. They are so lovely and at work. Um, and you, Amarachi, for instance, I hope you have your you have your work in Ghana and you are you are doing so well. Nobody is nobody have even said something bad about you. But it's the few people who want to. I mean, have their way with, uh, you know. Yeah, so let's continue reading. It isn't just Ghanaians who says all that. Even in US, other foreign nationals says that too. When you go to most US banks, they notice the notice are on the front desk to warn people send money to Nigeria. Really? Everyone knows there are some good Nigerians out there. Yes, everyone knows, but they are everyone knows that they are good. So, um, this is the little thing I just want to clarify based on the video Amarachi made because there were lots of people who were mad under the comment section, and my own very good friend was also mad over there, you know. So, um, I just want to let you guys know that no parents, I mean, that I know someone, I don't want to mention her name. She was like, even it, it, so if the parent did that, then it's, it's so annoying that they should, I mean, I don't think no parents in Ghana have sat their children down to tell them the behavior of a country. So please just get that same fact that it's not like that. So I hope I've, I've also made my points and make you understand well because this thing is not going to stop and it's, it's not going to be a war. It's just a friendly rivalry between Nigeria and Ghana, which it doesn't, it, which it did not start from us because it was in the news before even it was like that. 
before we were born so guys um let's be um each brother's keeper this is just fun nobody should get upset under the comment section we are all here to learn we are all here to share our views i want to see your 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 opinion on this under the comment section please do subscribe to my channel and go and subscribe to my sister's channel to amarachi duri on youtube see you on my next video ciao